In Windows XP we can manage printing from several locations. We will go to the different location depending on what we want to do with our printers. The first thing that we will talk about is printer object management. To manage printer object we will open printer properties. On the general tab we can go to the printing preferences where we have different settings that we can control. These settings include paper type options, color options, layout, duplexing, etc. Those are the basic settings for the print device. On the sharing tab we can control the sharing of our printer on the network. On the security tab we can control print permissions. On the advanced tab we can control the availability of the printer, priority, spool options, etc. On the ports tab we can control the ports that we are using for our printer. We can also configure options for print server. To manage print server go to the file, server properties. On the drivers tab we can see all the devices installed on our print server. On the advanced tab we can set the spill folder and printer notification. To see the print queue we can simply double click on the printer that we see in our printers and faxes folder. We can also share our printers. By sharing our printer we are making it available for other users on the network. In this example we will share Alps MD1000 printer. Let's right click it and then select sharing. This takes us straight to the sharing tab. Let's select share this printer option. All we need to do now is to click the apply button and our printer will be available on the network. Of course, we can alter the share name of the printer if we want. If our computer was a member of a domain, here we would also have an option to list our printer in the directory. This allows users to search Active Directory for a list of available network printers. Our workstation is not a member of a domain so we don't have that option. If necessary, we can also install additional drivers. To do that we have to click on the additional drivers button. This allows clients running different operating systems to automatically download the appropriate driver when they first connect to the shared printer. Let's try to install driver for Windows 95. We have to check the Intel, Windows 95, 98 and me option and click OK. As we can see we need to locate the appropriate driver files. If we don't have a CD with drivers, we can always go to the manufacturer's website and try to find the drivers for our printer. We will not do that now so we will click cancel. Notice that the icon of our printer is changed. Let's take a closer look at the print permissions. Permissions identify the users and groups that can use a printer and the types of operations they can perform. Let's see permissions on a printer that is already shared. Let's right click Alps MD1000, select properties, and go to the security tab. Printer permissions control both local and network access to the printer. Notice the default administrators can print, manage printers, and manage documents. Everyone is only able to print to the printer. In other words, they cannot manage all the documents on the printer and they cannot manage the printer itself. A creator owner is someone who has created a print job and sent it to the printer. Notice that the creator owner has managed documents permission. That means that the person who created a document, in other words who sent it to the printer, is able to manage their own documents. That's why we are able to delete our own documents but not the documents someone else sent to the printer.